Yo, what's up everybody? So literally, I get home from school and look what's waiting at my door. And yeah, I bet by the title you know what this is, and if for some weird reason you didn't read the title, then these are my new skis for the 2019 through 2020 season. You guys don't know how hyped I am to open these up. I've been like waiting for like a week to get these, but like actually they like arrived like two days early. So yeah, that's kind of sick. So yeah, we're gonna unbox these. I know Matt's coming over, Eric's coming over. You guys remember them. And yeah, we're gonna unbox it and I'll just kind of review some of the specs on it. But yeah, uh, let's go unbox these right now. <laughs> The, the OG filmer, and then we got Eric. Good times. Holy crap. Those are looking pretty fresh. Bro. Hey, full new sheet of stickers. I'll have, to, I'll have to give you guys some. Are they pretty good? I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they got some parts. It has always lined supplied us with this uh, fresh sticker pack. I'm just amazed by this. Uh, then I'll get on to the review. But yeah, look at these. These are sick. Day two. All right, what's up, homies? It's the next day now, and I didn't get to review these yesterday when I unboxed them. I just kind of hung out with my friends and stuff. But yeah, now we're here to review these 2020 Line Honey Badgers, as you saw in the last clip I unboxed them and stuff. And yeah, now I'm just going to kind of go over some of these specs and, you know, just if you're interested in buying these, just kind of go over it or just for your knowledge and stuff just about these skis because this is what I'm riding for this coming season most likely the next season too after this coming one but this is my fresh setup for this year and I still got to get bindings and boots obviously but I'll probably do that tomorrow or sometime this week but yeah so yeah these are the 2020 line honey badgers and I'm gonna assume if you're watching this you've probably done some research if you're thinking about getting these but if not I'll just kind of go over all the specs so this is a park ski it's pretty much like mainly for park that's why I got it because last year I had the bacons going into the season like thinking oh I'm gonna do a lot of powder and park but I kind of mo mostly just did park I mean I had some sick powder days but I mostly just did park so I'm mostly a park skier but so that's why I decided to get these as you can see if you put them sideways they still do got some rocker as you can see like this is a pretty decent amount and these are like pretty good honestly they're like pretty wide like they're really good all mountain anyway so like for east coast pow days and just uh, those days i'm outside of the park these are perfect for that too so if you're really generally a park skier looking to just do more all mountain maybe some outside of the park but like mostly in the park just really just whatever the day the day calls for i'd say these are pretty good for that as all line skis come with they always come with like this car they got stickers on the back as you can see i've already used a bunch I'll just kind of read what it says in the car. Line freestyle ripper, honey badger, snarling and swooping around the park in the streets, so a honey badger don't give a dot dot dot. This thing is a bare bones park ripper built to withstand anything you throw at it. Hit and rails, jumps, bombs, whatever. The thing bangs and keeps coming back for more. Oh, and it won't break the bank, so that's pretty rad. So yeah, that's what it says in the car it came with. It's, uh, yeah, pretty sick. The one I have is a 166. It's, as you can see, it's a good, like, a little bit taller than me, so it should last two seasons, because, you know, I just kind of wanted to get something a little longer, and I'm a decent enough skier where, like, I'll be able to control it. It should be fine. But they also have 172, 177, and a 155. So I just got the 166 right in the middle. Perfect for me. Now these are 92 underfoot and they're 120 at the tip. The tail, I believe they're 116. Really good for just all mountain, honestly, with 92. Pretty good width. It's not like some like really skinny ski, you know. It's like it's pretty good average, but it's just it's awesome, honestly. I just love this design too. There's a pretty good amount of camber in there too, so we'll hold an edge and everything, so It'll be, it's really honestly just good for, if you're a skier, you're mostly going to do park freestyle and stuff. You're good, like, intermediate to advanced park skier, and if you just want to do all mountain, too. I think this is really good for East Coast, honestly. Like, if you're out west, this is probably just a good, like, park day ski, honestly. Like, probably some more, like, the bacon would be better, but for East Coast, like, this is really perfect for an all-around, like, everything ski, you know. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say now. I can't really do, like, a big, like, review on how I think it is, because I've obviously haven't skied it yet, but... 
yeah, that's pretty much just the specs and everything about it. Like, honestly, I got this for three forty nine, I believe, and without bindings, and that's honestly a great price, you know. I'm going to probably spend, I don't know, 150 200 on bindings, and then we'll see about boots. I'm thinking of getting some full tilts. I'm not sure, but we'll see how much those cost. But honestly, I think this should be a sick setup. I'm, like, so stoked. Yeah, that's about it for the review. Like, ski season's, like, really close. Like, it's what? What is it? Like, October? October 9th today, and... Yeah, honestly, it's like another month and it's gonna be like literally right up. We're gonna be skiing like really soon. Now this weekend we're going to Sugarloaf for homecoming weekend there and I'm gonna like do some skateboarding, just like have a good time. And yeah, honestly, like a few more videos and then ski videos. So like, it's honestly, it's coming so quick. I know Killington's opening two weeks. I don't think I'm gonna be able to go, but I'm gonna try, we'll see what happens. But yeah, it's like everything's coming real soon. So I'm so stoked I got these new skis. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know this video is just kind of random. It's not like my normal video, but you know, I just kind of wanted to just do a quick review and unboxing. Honestly, these skis came like two days early. So like I, I was not prepared for this. So it was really nice surprise to come home to. And yeah, if you're new here and you enjoyed the video, please subscribe because this whole season, I'm just gonna make like probably like two, three videos a week, just, just kind of like ski vlogs and stuff, you know. You can check out my old videos, pretty much like that, but better. If you're new here and you like the video, please subscribe because yeah, I'll help out a ton. And for 300 subscribers, I'm gonna be making some stickers and stuff. So yeah, that should be sick. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Oh,